One of the things you have to remember about China going into this is that you have a very strong nationalist part of the Chinese population. Uh, these are the people who troll the internet and they're always exhorting the leadership to uh, take steps to make sure that China sees itself as a powerful country which is resurgent after this so-called 100 years of, of uh, subjugation that it's had, this humiliation that it had at the hands of Western powers. So one of the things that we have to accept that we will get out of China is that we will get a very strongly worded statement from the foreign ministry and from Chinese leaders condemning the, uh, the, the permanent court of arbitration ruling uh, and, 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 and saying that this is an in invalid ruling that breaks international law. The thing to watch, though, Jean, is what China actually does on the ground. Are they going to actually take steps to worsen the situation by perhaps dragging the Sierra Madre uh, ship, which has been grounded on Second Thomas Shoal, off the banks of that, uh, of that mooring? Are they going to declare an ADIZ, an air identification zone, over the South China Sea? That's what we need to see. What actions will they take? Well, how about the U.S.? Will it be on a wait-and-see mode, you know, going to be a reaction to what China does? And how far can it really go, considering that it's not even a signatory to the own clause? Well, I mean, I think that, first of all, we need to see exactly what the uh, arbitration tribunal comes out with today, uh, later today. You know, are they going to make any ruling on the Nine Dash Line and whether it's valid or not under the historical rights claims that uh, China has? Uh, or are they simply going to leave themselves making a decision about, uh, about what sort of territory each of these features that China sits on generates? They might, com they might hold themselves back at that. So, you know, both sides might actually have something that they can claim victory on here. The US reaction will be pretty much dependent on what the Chinese do, uh, but we can certainly expect there will be a, a very strong, strong sort of diplomatic words going around. But the, uh, the interesting thing is to see whether the US, in response to anything that China does, increases its patrols in the South China Sea or as, uh, as, or, or as you guys like to call it, the West Philippine Sea. Well, but some do see this, especially China, seeing this as you know, a power struggle between the US and China. And now the world is watching. What does this decision mean to the rest of the world? I mean, we have other claimants and yet we also have other countries supporting China. Uh, well, China does have a long list of 60 or so countries that it says support it, but a lot of these countries are landlocked. Uh, they're also uh, somewhat beholden to China in terms of economics. So, uh, and, and, and the other thing is that China hasn't actually published the list of these countries. Uh, on the other hand, countries like Vietnam will be looking very closely at the decision to come out of the PCA later today because... Who knows, Vietnam might decide that it wants to have its own uh, 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 court case against China and its expansive claims in the South China Sea. So these are the sorts of things that we're going to be watching over the next week or so. I think it's going to take quite a few days, first of all, while people digest the details of the, of the decision, which is expected to be more on the long side rather than on the short side, Jean. Thank you so much, David. Tweet will have one eye on the decision and another eye on what China does on the ground.